Those who have swords and know how to use them, but keep them sheathed, will inherit the world. And that's mm. another thing I've been telling you. Yeah, no kidding. That's, that's a lot a different. Big difference. That's a big difference. It's so great. And so, like, one of the things I tell young men, well, and young women as well, but the young men really need to hear this more, I think, is that you should be a monster. You know, because everyone says, well, you should be harmless, virtuous. You shouldn't do anyone any harm. You should sheath your competitive instinct. You shouldn't try to win. You know, you, you don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be too assertive. You want to take a back seat and all of that. It's like, no, wrong. You should be a monster, an absolute monster. And then you should learn how to control it. Do you know the expression, it's better to be a warrior in a garden than a gardener in a war? Right, right, exactly. That's exactly it. Yeah. yeah. And that's exactly right. And so when I tell young men that, they think, well, lots of them are competitive. They're low in agreeableness, you know, because that's part of being competitive temperamentally. It's like, is there something wrong with being competitive? There's nothing wrong with it. There's something wrong with cheating. There's something wrong with being a tyrant. There's something wrong with winning unfairly. All of those things are bad. But you don't want people to win? What's the difference between trying to win and striving? You want to eradicate striving? What's the uncomfortable? The only thing you're trying to do is get some air. You don't care about no basketball game. You don't care what's on TV. You don't care about nobody calling you. You don't care about a party. The only thing you care about when you're trying to breathe is to get some fresh air. That's it. And when you get to the point where all you want to do is be successful, as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. And I'm here to tell you, number one, that most of you say you want to be successful, but you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You, most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Some of you love sleep more than you love success. And I'm here to tell you today, if you're going to be successful, you've got to be willing to give up sleep. You gotta be willing to work off for three hours of sleep, two hours. If you really wanna be successful, some days you will have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you gotta want. You gotta go days without, listen to me, you gotta wanna be successful so bad that you forget to eat. You were good and wonderful. It was great just watching every day was like a privilege. And the time come for you to be your own man and take on the world, and you did. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame, like a big shadow. <laughs>